Well, now to this, a Vancouver police officer who threatened to taser a suspect's genitals acquitted today. A jury finding eight-year police veteran Andrea Mendoza not guilty of assault. This is after police body camera video captured the encounter in May of last year. Joelle Jones covered the release of that footage last year. She's live now outside the courthouse with the latest. Joelle? Well, Ken, Mendoza looked visibly relieved in the courtroom today, embracing supporters following this verdict. Now, earlier we heard prosecutors argue that law enforcement is not above the law, yet Mendoza and her team maintain that she did what she needed to end an out-of-control scuffle. And it appears this jury agrees. We, the jury, find the above named defendant not guilty of the crime of assault in the fourth degree. Visible relief in the courtroom today as a Clark County jury found Vancouver police veteran Andrea Mendoza not guilty. Did Andrea Mendoza use lethal force? She did not. Did she inflict an injury on this person? She did not. She was ticked off, so she decided to show him who was in charge. And when she did that, she crossed the line. Mendoza faced a fourth degree assault charge after body cam footage showed the officer pulled down Elijah Guffey Prejean's pants and threatened to tase his genitals after he resisted arrest for stealing candy bars from Walmart. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I promise. I'm dead. Yeah, I hate you. With I promise. I'm dead. Knock it off. I will. Court records show the taser was held to Guffey Prejean's genitals for 24 seconds, and he was left exposed for nearly a minute until he asked to be covered up. Prosecutors arguing today that the officer's actions were unlawful. Well, if a male officer pulled down a female suspect's pants and put his taser against her vagina, that action would not be acceptable. It is not acceptable when Andrea Mendoza did it to Elijah. Mendoza justified her actions Friday, telling the jury it was the only method she could think of to stop the ongoing tussle, a detail backed up by Guffey Prejean's testimony, who claimed the threat was the catalyst for his compliance. Um, I know through life experience that that is a sensitive and painful area that could do what I needed to do right then and there. And were you successful? Yes. I was a little mad, but I was more in shock. I felt kind of violated. Now, on Friday, we heard Mendoza say that this court incident and being on the stand was one of her biggest fears and now it appears she can put all of that behind her. I did reach out to the Vancouver Police Department for a response to this verdict as Mendoza has remained on administrative leave, but I have not yet heard back. Live in Vancouver, I'm Joelle Jones, Queen 6 News.